Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, in the last part we got to the, uh, <coughs> to the dungeon, so, or not to the dungeon, we got to the dungeon's boss door. So, in this part, we're going to go ahead and, uh, take on the boss, so let's go ahead and enter. And just because, well, actually I don't need to do that because I need a something else first so let's go ahead and hop in Okay, so now we are met with a gargantuan mass fish gorg or georg, however you want to pronounce it. So anyway, <clears throat> ow. Yeah, you want to try not to be uh, around. Oh shoot, that's another thing. <laughs> I was going to say you want to try not to be around the uh, middle or the edges when he does that because he will knock you in the water. So you want to try to be <clears throat> around the middle of the uh, platforms when he does that. So. Let me see what he's gonna do real quick. I'm gonna wait. Sometimes you may want to wait and see what attack he does. So, all right. So let's see. Where is he? He is. I don't actually see him. What side is he on? Ow! I'm trying to see where he's hit me from. Is it this side? New. Okay. Now he's on this side. Don't worry. Where is he? Okay, I lost sight of him. This is not good. Uh, oh! Uh, ow. Never good to lose sight of him, which I have done. There he is. I thought you can tell from the bubbles where he is. Anyway, if you go near it now, you'll be eaten. Aim for it from afar to weaken it. Alright. So, like I was trying to do in the first place, you want to shoot him with a arrow. And when you do that, you want to go ahead and swim towards him. And boom. There we go. Yeah, there are ah, there are magic things at the bottom of these uh at the bottom so if you can well, try not to get eaten by them first of all but if you can um if you run out of magic you can go ahead and go down there and pick them up although it's kind of dangerous to do that that way because he will uh hit you if you do so let's don't get away from the edge because i think he's about to attack he's over there Yep, there goes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him again. And use the door mask again to... Boom, there, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to swim away from him before he eats us again. And jump up. Oh, man. If you can jump up there, which I normally can do, you can get up there before he has a chance to eat you. That's weird. He... That's weird. <laughs> I've never seen him do that before, huh? Anyway, go ahead and shoot him again. So, yeah, this is pretty much rinse, wash, and repeat stuff. It's like most bosses. And after you do that three times... He will put out a bunch of little fish to, uh, attack you. So, ah, And I got eaten again. Good thing I bought these berries. I don't usually do this bad fighting him, but... Last time I did this badly fighting him was the first time I ever fought him. But anyway... <laughs> Go ahead and uh, take off your mask again. You can also hit him with your uh, Zora fins, but I find it easier, in my opinion anyways, to uh, just <laughs> try to get away a little faster so he didn't know me in the water, which he did good. But you can do that with the Zora fins, but I find it easier to just go ahead and do it with uh, the arrows. That's, well, that's my opinion anyways, but and I hit the side. Ow! Y'all suck. Alright, so... Actually, I'm pretty sure you can hit him with the fence. I never tried to do it. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to attack, and I'm gonna actually try to do that to see if that works, too. So, let's see. 
I think you can also hit him with the uh, hook shots too, so. <laughs> Get stretched far enough to hit him with those. <laughs> I backed up. So I guess that might not be the best idea if he's too far away. But stop that. Alright. So let's go ahead and swim down again. That took me five and a half, about five and a half minutes to beat him, so, and that was with getting eaten by him a bunch of times, so you can beat him a lot quicker than that. I just didn't. So, anyway, we got the heart container now. And let's go ahead and enter this blue light. You seize Gorg's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of the evil Gorg. Hey, listen, we want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tal was trying to tell us. Help our... I get it, we have to help the last one. Then promise us this, you'll cooperate with us. Now I can continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times and again merely watch for my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished, Link. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so yeah, we will beat, uh,. Great Bay Temple. There's only a couple other things I want to do before heading off there. First of which is actually going ahead and going into here. Going over here actually, not into here. And I want to go ahead and light these torches for uh, something. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it just because I want to. So... Let's see. Actually, can you light these torches? I guess you can. I guess you can actually light these torches. Okay, well, that sucks. I thought I could. Well, oh well, well, at least now you know not to waste any of your magic. So, <laughs> I thought I could light those things, but for some reason it seems like I can't, so... Whatever. Alright, let's go. Actually, I'm going to need this in a second, so... Alright, let's go ahead and put on our Gora mask. <laughs> and we can speak to all these people we want. You're late, Macau. But while... <laughs> where were you while we... While you were skipping practice thing. Lulu's been waiting for you. Huh. Talk to him. Says. You did great, Macau. Lulu's voice has returned. Well, it looks like Lulu wants to talk to you. So go see her now. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to the drummer. What have you been doing? You're late, Macau. Oh, oh, guess what? Lulu's voice. She's gotten it back. Alright, let's go speak to uh, little Miss Lulu here. Mikau, you came back safely. That's good. I was surprised when my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. 
But that song you played for me, my mother used to sing it often, long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. That song was from when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. I put you through some horrible experiences, Macau. But I'm all better now. Well, the town's concert is very soon. Let's start our rehearsal. Okay, so that was a really nice little uh, song duo, whatever thing we did there. So anyway, <clears throat> first of all, we need to go ahead and return all these straight fairies to the uh, Great Fairy Fountain before I forget to do that. This is one of the areas that I've forgotten to do that before, and it sucks. Let me just tell you that. Because you have to go through that whole Great Bay Temple again to redo it. And, and some temples... It doesn't bother me that much because they're not that difficult to get through or not doesn't take that long to get through but in the last in the these two dungeons it kind of or this dungeon and the next one it kind of sucks because uh it takes forever to get through there but anyway to get over there we want to go ahead and first of all we want to equip our or not equip but we want to dequip our zora mask i'm over here and over here and just keep on following this direction and I'm going here and we can get up here there we go it's really nothing inside that rock that we just saw that I need to get to so after that oh. Oh, sorry about that had to sneeze for a second anyway let's go ahead and uh, want to go ahead and shoot across to all these trees to get to where we gotta go and there we go and let's see I can't see move there we go so let's go ahead and get across there we go alright and again we can go ahead and use our bomb mask And since I had to, since I went to that dungeon with the Zora mask, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I think I did this with every one of them and, and talk to them after I beat them. So let's go ahead and go in. <coughs> and go to the Great Fairy Fountain. Oh, courageous young one, I am the great fairy of courage. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength. Your defense has been strengthened. Enemies now do half as much as damage as before. Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. Again, <clears throat> I don't think we'll be doing that because after we go back to the first day again, we will have to um, 
go get all the straight fairies from the dungeon again to see you so again each time we're gonna go we might talk to a great fairy it's going to be in clock town so anyway that's all I'm gonna do for now there are a couple of other things we can do after uh, going through the um, what you call it where we just went through the great Tempe temple but uh, before I do that I will go ahead and go through uh, the next area because there are going to be quite a few things that I'm going to want to do in between now and going to the next dungeon so that's what we're going to be doing next time is going to our next area and getting another mask and that'll probably be about it and maybe some heart pieces so until then thank you for watching everybody and have a great day